So I'm at the point where I feel like I should be learning a bit more about Windows Server 2012. So I've decided to download the evaluation version of Windows Server 2012 R2 and run it in a virtual machine. For those of you that don't know how to do this, here is how. Firstly, I like to use VirtualBox only because this platform is familiar to me. However, there are loads of different ones out there for you to choose from. When you open up VirtualBox for the first time, you will see that there is a new button at the top left of the screen. Now you'll be able to choose a name as well as define what sort of operating system you'll be launching. In this case, we will choose other Windows 64-bit as Server 2012 R2 is not listed. You must be sure to change the megabyte size of the memory to at least 1024 because otherwise you will encounter errors when installing Windows Server. Trust me, I've been there, it's a pain in the ass. As you can see, I'm getting a few errors. This is only because I've messed around with various other similar servers and have used two similar names, but a quick change of name will fix this just fine. Next up is the virtual hard drive. This will default to the size of 20 gig, which should be plenty for a basic server install. Now you must make sure to click on the right facing start arrow, which will trigger a prompt to allow you to choose where the server operating system is located. In my case, I've mounted the ISO of Windows Server 2012 to drive F, but this could be different for you. The basic install process is up next. This is nothing too complicated. Just make sure you select the correct language settings. One thing that new users of Windows Server sometimes forget is to install the server with the GUI included. If you didn't know, GUI stands for Graphical User Interface and is just a way to allow you to navigate the server normally, because if you select the core one, at the top, you're just presented with a command prompt, and obviously to a new user not knowing any of the commands, this will be extremely intimidating. So again, make sure you click the GUI one. Long story short, unless you're experienced with servers, select the second one down that includes a GUI. I don't actually have an ultra powerful computer. This footage is sped up just to get past the boring server installation window. The virtual machine will reset during the install, which will make the window alter in size. This is completely normal, don't worry about it. Now you should see a familiar Windows icon with a loading circle. The first thing you should see is the prompt to select a password for the administrator account. This has to be quite a complex password, which means password 123 unfortunately will not suffice. Password assigned, you will now be launched into a familiar Windows desktop experience. However, you may notice it will say Windows license is expired. To fix this, the network adapter just has to be configured correctly on the virtual machine. This is usually solved with a quick restart. The first window that appears after you log into Windows Server 2012 is the Server Manager window. You will be using this quite a lot because this is the central hub to control everything on the server. It is usually a good idea to give the virtual machine a quick reset just to make sure all of the settings and configuration is set up correctly. This is to avoid any potential problems in the future. There we go, virtual machine reset, and now we have a trial license. Now that's about as much detail as I'm going to go into in this video. So you should now know how to load your own copy of Windows Server onto a virtual environment. Thanks for watching. In the future there are going to be videos about Active Directory and all sorts of stuff involved with Windows Server 2012. So if you have anything you'd like to know how to do, set up a printer, set up permissions, blah 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 blah, go ahead and leave it in a comment below and I look forward to reading them and making the video. Again thanks for watching, this has been Adam from Ads Productions.